Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the JRE, the math portion of the JRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the JRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it in order for you to be able to follow my work. Please turn to page number 157. Today is our lesson number 57. Page 57. Let's see, let's see what we have. 157. It says, I'm going to read the problem to you, but not verbatim. I'm just going to paraphrase it. So we have a manager who's trying to have select a team of six people. Let's put it here. Need to select six people. Out of how many? Out of 11. Out of 11 possible candidates. I'm not going to write everything down here. We are further told that he has already chosen three. All right. He has already chosen three. Three are already chosen. So in other words, the question is, we need to choose, we need to pick eight, not eight, sorry. We need to pick three more because we need to choose six here. We need to pick three more. I don't know what happened to my... We need to pick three more because we need to pick six altogether. We need to pick three more out of the remaining eight because there were eleven to begin with. There are eleven to begin with. We have, we are told that three have already been chosen. So we need to pick three out of the remaining eight that are there. Out of eight. Pick three out of eight. Now, listen very carefully for what I have to say. There are two ways of solving this problem. One I call, one is what I call the geeky way, the nerdy way, the academic way, the proper way, the way you are expected to solve it, which is to put in the formula and crank it out like the kids are told all the time. They are given this formula, they are, they are told to memorize the formula and you solve it, uh, solve the problem. The only problem with that is that I can never remember the bloody thing during the exam. I cannot remember it and I don't want to memorize the stupid thing. So we are going to do this problem. I am going to show you how to do this problem using simple, logical, thinking but you have to stay with me you have to be willing you have to be willing to make the investment you have to be able to you have to be willing to make the investment of time and you have to have the right attitude that I'm going to learn the concept behind it so that I never again have to use the formula it is going to take time it's going to be in two videos I'm going to start with the simplest of scenario and we're going to build our way up simplest of scenario the simplest possible scenario that we can think of. Of course, the simplest one in theory would be to have one person and choose one. How many ways are there of choosing one person out of one? Out of one is obviously one, one way. This is only one person. I'm going to go one step above that, which is choose two out of two. How many ways are there of choosing two people out of two people? Well, if there is only two people, A and B, and I'm asked to choose two, well I'm not asked to choose anything, there is no choice. There is only one way which is to choose both of them. I'm going to show you now mathematically as to what is going on behind it. So we're going to do it for, for learning purposes, for theoretical reasons. In practicality it has no meaning, it has no importance, it has no value, because there is only one way of picking two people out of two. This is what's going on. How many, how many ways can we pick the first person? Well there are two ways, because there are A and B, there are two ways I can pick a first person. Once the first person is chosen, once the first person is chosen, how many ways are there of picking the first person? Two ways. Either A or B. There are two, two choices. So we're choosing two out of two. Once the first person is chosen, how many different ways can I choose the second person? Well, the second person is only one person left because there are only two to begin with. So the, for the second, the choices that we have of choosing a second person is only one. So the answer of course is there are two ways of choosing two people out of two, which of course we know is a nonsense, because if there are only two people and I'm asked to choose two people, there's only one way, which is to pick the two people. Let's see what's going on. So if I choose A for the first place, 
Then in the second place, I have to, I, I can choose B. But if I pick B the first time around, then second spot I can choose A. Now I shouldn't have used the term second spot just now because second spot has a connotation. It has a connotation of uh, importance of this place. It does not. This is not permutation. This is this is what is known as combination. The order has no importance. So whether I choose A and then B, or if I choose a B and then A, it has no relevance, no importance whatsoever, because it is a combination. So essentially I'm double counting it. I'm counting it two times. This is called double counting. So whatever the number of ways I have I have figured out before that I have that I have to choose two people out of two, I have to take half of that. I have to divide that by two. Because I'm repeating it, double counting it. And therefore, 2 divided by 2, of course, is 1, which, of course, we knew all along there is only one way of choosing two people out of 2. Let's move on. How many ways are there of choosing two people out of 3? As you can see, the plot is thickening. I know. Well, how many different ways can I pick a first person? Well, there are three people. There are three people. Let's give them, give them name. A, B, C. Why not? A, B, C is much better than alpha, beta, gamma. There are three ways. I can either choose A, or B, or C for the first spot. Once I've chosen the first person, how many different ways are there for us to choose the second person? There are only two ways. Because whichever person has already been chosen, that person of course cannot be chosen again. There are only two people left, out of which we're going to pick one person for the second place. For example, for example, if we chose A, for the second place we can choose either B or C. If we chose B for the first spot, then for the second spot we can either choose A or C. If we, post, if we chose C for the first spot, for the second spot we can choose either A or B. Looks like there are six choices. One, two, three, four, five, and six. As you can see, three times two, six. Three times two, there are six ways of picking two people out of three. Which of course we know is not true. There are only three ways, you will see in a second. Because, just like the previous scenario, double counting is going on. Okay, I'm going to do it in a color coordination, why not? Since I have the three different colors, why not flaunt them? Here's A and B. A, B, A, B. Because you see, order, order is of no importance. Whether we choose B first and then A, you see, we're double counting it. Right here, A, B, and B, A. Similarly, we're double counting it here. A, C, and C, A. Voila. And of course, black, black is our default, which is B, C, and C, A. Or B, C, and C, B, rather. B, C, C, B. Everything is being double counted. So even though we have found six different ways of picking two people out of three, since everything is double counted, we need to divide, we need to take our we need to take our answer and divide it by two. And if we do that, of course we find that there are only three ways. There are only three ways of picking two people out of three. There are only three ways of picking out two people out of three. On the way. We could have looked at this scenario. I'm going to do it one more time. I don't know why I'm going here. Because uh, once I have the urge, you, you, that's it. You can't control it. I can't control it. So, another way we could have looked at the whole thing is this. When you are asked to put, choose two people out of three, this question, choose two people out of three, this is same as saying, if you're told to pick two people out of three, what you're essentially being told it's the same as the same as saying don't pick one don't pick one I'm going to say it one more time if there are three people in the room and you are asked to choose two essentially what you're telling me is that there are three people in the room go and get two people don't pick the third one don't pick one you can pick any of the other two don't pick one well how many ways are there of not picking one person well I can either, there are three people, look, there are three people in the room. How many ways are there for me not to pick one person? I can go in the room and not pick A, or I can go in the room and not pick B, or I can go in the room, yes, you got it, 
and not fix Eve. There are essentially three ways of choosing two people out of three. I erased it. And in mathematical way, the way you would show is that there are right here. There are three ways of picking the first person. There are two ways of picking the second person. And since things are being repeated, since everything is being double counted, we need to divide that thing by two. And once we do that, we say that there are three ways of picking. I'm going to say it one more time. There are three ways of picking two people out of three. Or you can say there are three ways of not picking one person out of three. As you can see right here. It's the same thing. Let's move on. We're going to build up. Oh, I said uh, a little while ago I used this word in the, in the context. I don't know if I have my vocabulary thingy with me. Yes, I know it's called vocabulary thingy. That's why, uh, that's why it's a vocab word, thingy. Connote. I'm looking at my list here. I know I covered it. And the noun of connote is connotation. Day number 16. I'm doing this thing for the, for the benefit of those people whose native language may not be English. If your native language is English, it's a very simple word, connotation is the, is the, is, is the noun. Another reason actually I'm doing it is because most people will, would tell you that they know the meaning of the word connotation, but if you ask them to explain it, they, they are unable to articulate it. That's, that's one indication that you haven't quite mastered the word. If you have mastered the word, there is no reason why you should not be able to articulate what it means. I noticed the word. So the way I use it in the context is that a little while ago I said uh, I was speaking in terms of spaces, in, in terms of places, not spaces rather. Uh, and that has a connotation of uh, importance of order. Here, order has no uh, order has no value. Order has no meaning. It is not permutation. Those that's called permutation, where in uh, which order you arrange the people or in which order the things are picked has an importance. That's called permutation. This is simple combination. In combinations, it doesn't matter who you pick first and who you pick for the second round and so on and so forth. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. I need the room. Oh, I shouldn't have raised this thing. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Let's pick two people out of four. And I'm going to stop at that, I promise you. Let's see what happens, okay? So I have four people. How many different ways can I pick the first person? Well, since there are four people, A, B, C, and D, how many different ways can I pick a first person? Of course, four ways. I can either pick A or B or C or D. Once I've chosen a first person, there are only three left. How many different ways can I pick a second person? Well, there are three ways of the remaining three. It looks to me that there are 12 ways of picking two people out of four. But of course, in reality, we already know that everything is being double counted and we're going to show it here pictorially in a pictograph or whatever you want to call it uh, with a little diagram that everything is being double counted A, B, C and D I'm not going to explain every single step, you got the idea if we pick A for the second round I have a choice of picking B, C or D if we pick B we have a choice of A, C or D if we pick C for the first time in the first round, then we have a choice of picking either A, B, or D for the second round. And if you pick D for the first round, then we can pick either A, B, or C for the third round, and so forth. And again, you will see that every combination is double counted. Again, I'm going to get my colors ready. I'm going to need one more color here. I think green should do it. Here is A, B, right here. And here is B, A. It is being double counted. Here is A, C. Here is AC, and here is uh, CA, voila, here is CA, it is being double counted. Here is AD, in black, and here is uh, DA, what are we leaving out? CB, I need one more color, I need one more color, I need, how about blue? CB, and B, C. There you go. D, A and A, D. There you go. A, D, D, A in black. D, B and B, D. Oh, lost it. Well, you get the idea. You get the idea. Purple would do it. So in green I have A, B. That will go with B, A. 
Then we have AC, the red, which will go with CA. We have AD in black and then DA. So that takes care of that. BC, CB, DB, DB, BD rather, BD, DB, CD, and CD and DC. You get the idea. Things have been double counted. Everything is double counted. Therefore, here we found 12, 4 times 3. Since everything is being double counted, we need to take half of that. And in reality, there are only six ways of picking. There are only six ways of picking two people out of, out of four. That's it. Now, now we're going to go on to what we have in our hand here. We have, we have eight. We have eight people. Let's see what happens here. We have eight people. Here we have eight people. How many different ways can I pick two people out of eight? Well, there are eight different ways of picking the first person. Once I have chosen the first person out of the eight people, there are only seven left. And therefore there are seven ways of picking a second person. And since everything is being double counted, therefore the total number of ways that we can pick two people total number of ways that you can pick two people out of 8 is this I'm not going to do it out, I'm going to leave it like that 8 times 7 and that's your total combinations with the repetition included and you divide the result by 2 Tomorrow, this video is already very long, I know that. Tomorrow, we're going to learn what happens when we introduce the third character in the story. When we pick third person, things are going to get real prickly. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.